All right, what's up guys? It's Ralph with Pondscapes and once again, I am not out in Arizona. A unique opportunity to hook up with some of my buddies, Mark, AJ, and Ed Blue. Guys, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about this project. Uh, a couple years ago, Ed and Mark and AJ came out and helped me on a project and uh, I couldn't be more thankful for you guys to come out and, and help us out. And uh, now it's time to return that favor. Also have some fun with some great friends. Mark, it was a little chilly this morning. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> that 63 it was, was a little chilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to show you what we're up to. Let's go see the Mink Man. So what we have going on today is we are creating a really unique little habitat for mink. So Joseph has between 30 and 40 mink here. Um, he uses them for different types of hunting activities and things like that. So what we're trying to do is create an interactive space for the mink um, to kind of do their natural habits. They are found along riparian corridors. So a riparian corridor is a river system. So they live in and around those zones because they eat frogs, they eat fish, they eat uh, um, they'll go after turtles, they'll go after small rodents, they'll go after snakes. All of that stuff is normally found around those water edges. So what we're doing here today is we're gonna recreate a miniature habitat. So we're gonna have a series of cascading waterfalls and pockets and pools, big boulders, some maybe downed logs and stuff like that inside of it to recreate a natural habitat where these mink could really kind of, um, th they could do what they're naturally born to do. So this is really, really cool. All right, guys, so we're here with my buddy Mark Hellman with Earth Energy Ponds, with Earth Energy Waterscapes. Mark, how did this all come about? So this came about where um, Greg had made contact with this gentleman, Joseph, the mink man, and uh, they wanted to do a feature. So Greg reached out to me. I came out, met with uh, Joseph, kind of went over the project, get some ideas. Um, Greg got it all set up with uh, Joseph and said, yeah, we'll come out. We'll build you this feature for your mink. And here we are today with a group of good people. We're gonna build this uh, really unique water feature. Uh, All right guys, so this is our canvas for the next couple days. So uh, speaking of hurdles, the dun dun, these mink are jumpers. So we're, we're close to the neighbor's fence. What we need to do is stay about five feet off of the, the fence here. The pond is gonna be more stream-like to uh, closely represent uh, what uh, mink are naturally found in. Anybody know what this pipe is for? Mark, is that important? So Ed, would you say we 100% don't need to worry about this? <laughs> no, actually I... So it sounds like he's 95%. We don't, sure, we don't have to deal with that. So right about where Ed's standing, that's where our 6,000 biofall is gonna be and these boulders are going to hold that soil up behind it. Unexploded ordnance. Hey, we found the body. Oh, oh no, it's just a sink. <laughs> so sometimes we find things in the ground when we're doing excavations, like sinks. Okay.
And just when you think we're not gonna get any work done, boom, we got it. Awesome, we have been waiting on that truck. So our guy is here, we've got the equipment, it's ready. Now it's time to get back to work. gonna make this happen. AJ, go cut the liner before anybody gets here. That way if there's any problems, I know who to point my finger at. So it seems that uh, Ed and three other guys, Mark, Steven, and AJ, have got that seam taken care of. It seems that they got it all taken care of. I'm over here doing this. I got this taken care of all by myself. I trenched that from right here. Uh, don't worry about me guys, I'm good. That's good. <laughs> We're getting a fair amount of the under boulder work done and what I mean by that is this run of pipe. This is going to be areas where the mink will be able to uh, chase uh, you know, their prey through the, the plumbing system. Plumbing that we did. So this is going to go to the uh, operating pump. This T will uh, run off a three quarter line, push water to flush through this plumbing system. Uh, so that way there's a little bit of current going through there and any uh, prey that uh, gets left in there doesn't just stay in there and rot away, gets uh, flushed out. got the main pond all rocked in and the tunnel system is camouflaged nicely there's one top and then the other top right there it's going to go across that'll be the tunnel where the uh, minks will follow the muskrats in to chase and then right under that log right there there's uh, the other opening coming through Hey, pond guy. <laughs> All right, Mark, so tell me what's going on right now. Why are you playing with water? Because they don't trust me to do the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Steven, don't cut the liner. Cut the liner? Hmm. If I just stand here long enough pointing this camera at him, I'm sure we can get him cut in the liner. Let's see if that can happen. Nervous yet? A little bit. <laughs> just Ralph, don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody will know. See, this is a really cool setup. You can let the muskrats in to that setup under this stump. So when the stump is removed, the muskrats and then the mink can be let in right through there. This is kind of cool. We are out to actually see the mink in action. <laughs> so the idea is uh, 
to uh, release the mink into the uh, pond and to come up with some kind of crayfish or small fish or something like that. He's not exactly doing it mink style, but I guess he's doing all right. Alright guys, so here we are, morning number three. This is D-Day, it has to get done. Last little bit of details, but this is what I love to see. Kids already interacting in the feature, not even up and running. They know it's natural. It's a natural attraction. Constantly have this when we do projects for customers that have small children. I love seeing this. Time to turn on this water feature for the very first time. We haven't even seen it run yet. I hear the water flowing. It's filling up that biofall. Let's go over there and see how this looks. Oh, look at that. Just exactly the way we designed it. Water's flowing over that log and it's going to split around that rock. What do you think, Olive? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so i'm here with joseph the mink man and we just finished up his pond for specifically the mink but we see who's enjoying it right now joseph where do you think how this turned out oh super excited it's really nice this is a dream come true been dreaming out this is i was just talking to a buddy that's been my buddy for i don't know 10 years now and we we're talking is like man everything you've dreamed of is coming true how's that yeah. happening you know i've got the breeding project i've dreamed about and yeah. pond i've dreamed about you got the yard i dreamed about life's nice. just amazing nice <laughs> hey, you, determination it'll happen so did this turn out anything like you envisioned yeah it's a lot prettier than i envisioned i'm very uh practical Okay. So if I'd have done this project, it wouldn't look half as good. It would work just as good. Maybe the filtration, the looks, the clean water, I would have screwed all that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we built it so you, your entire family can have some fun in it and for years and years to come. So thank you again for allowing us to uh, come and uh, help bring this to life for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just as pleased as I could ever be. So I'm excited to get using it. Right on. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for this one. I would say this was a huge success, not only for the mink man and his training that he does with his mink, but also his family. Look at that, his daughters are in there playing before we even turned it on. His wife is loving it. Everybody's talking about how they're gonna use this so much in the future. And that's exactly why we do this, to bring families outdoors, spending time together, and exploring getting closer to nature so if you like this let me know make sure you're subscribing so you get updates when we put out another video and leave me a comment let me know what you thought about this project and if you have any questions hit me up and we'll see you on the next video